Welcome to Code and Dogs and my first video about how to send emails with uh, Python. Why would you do that? So actually there are several reasons. So perhaps you have a very long running script and after it finally finished you want to get informed by email. Or you're running a web shop and based on the customer's action you want to trigger certain emails, marketing emails for example, and so on and so forth. So um, let's start. All right, so we start with some preparation work. We'll create a config py file in which we'll define four variables. First, the mail to address. So this is gonna be the mail address we are sending our email to. So let me choose my spam address here. So, and the last three variables um, are related to the um, mail address we are using as sender mail. So first of all, the mail from server, which in this case is uh, Gmail. So smtp.gmail.com port 587. Uh, and the mail from address, of course, which is the same as the mail to address. So I'm sending an email from myself to myself. And we need one more. We need the mail from password, uh, which, which I will not enter here, of course. Um, because actually, so um, as mentioned, mail to address, this is the, e uh, the email address we are sending our email to. And we are sending it via the Gmail mail server. And we need the mail from address and the password to authenticate against our our server we use to send that email, basically. Um, by the way, you can use any mail server. You can use your, your Yahoo, Yahoo or Hotmail or whatever. Um, so it doesn't matter. Just in this example, I'm, I'm taking Gmail. So saving this and now we can come to the code work. So let's create a script file. Let me call it sendmail.py. And first of all, of course, we import our config, which we just created. And we need uh, to import a library called smtplib, which allows us to send emails. And then let's start. So basically, let's first of all define a message we want to send uh, from Python by email. So, uh, hi, fellows. This mail is sent from Python. And then basically it's really easy. We just need to call the send mail function, enter our config mail from address, our config mail to address and the message. And that's it already. Don't believe me? Uh, you're absolutely right. So of course we need to do some, some more steps. But basically in the end, this comment uh, will send out the email and it will take the mail from address the mail to address and the message we defined up front. But first, uh, we of course need to define this uh, server variable and we do this um, instantiating the SMTP object from SMTP lib. And basically it needs one input um, parameter, which is our mail server. So. Um, mail from server and next um, let's secure our connection to our mail server with uh, tls so t start tls and in the second and in, in the next step we can already connect to the server using um, the login function and here we just need to give our mail from address uh, where do we have it here and our mail from password. Um, and now that's it. Uh, and we can send already our email. Uh, but let me explain first what we did here. So uh, we created a new variable server, which instantiate uh, SMTP object, which is basically our mail server. Uh, we are um, securing our connection to our mail server with TLS. And we then authenticate to our mail server with our mail from address and our mail from password. In the end, 
of course we have to close the connection with server quit and that's it already so let's try it out so I will move to my inbox here and you, you can see it's completely empty and now let's execute the script so send mail dot py taking several seconds and now you see here I got a new email it has some drawbacks so you can see um, it has no subject and uh, it's handling the mail to address in the in the blind copy field it has not filled the the to field here it has filled the from address um, but I said no subject so there are certain things to improve uh, which I'll show you in a few seconds. Just one remark up front. So basically, I got this mail only because in Gmail I need to allow less secure apps. So I need to switch this option on. Otherwise, Gmail will block my script and the email will not come through. So please um, consider this when you try try my implementation. Okay, uh, as mentioned, there are certain drawbacks like no subject being filled, the to address not being filled here correctly. Um, and there are solutions for that. So um, let's have a look at this. So to improve things, we need to do two more import statements. So from email mime text import mime text. And from email mime multipart, we need to import mime multipart. So um, with uh, with this, we can change from um, a message being handled as a plain text to a message being handled as an object. So let's define uh, MSG as mime oh, mime multipart object. And this allows us to define certain attributes of this MIME multipart object. So, for example, we can define MSG2 to, to our config mail to address. We can define a from parameter here as config mail from address. And we can define further parameters of, of the multipart object, for example, a subject. So let's do it like this and uh, assign this to the variable subject, which we need to define. So let's create a subject variable here, a new email from Python, which will be our new subject. Let's do two more things. So first of all, let's change the message here to body because it will be our mail body in future and um, we can attach this body now to our msg object so msg attach um, and this is basically a mime text and we can now attach the body here and we can say it's a plain text file and then the last step, as we are sending the email here in the common server sent mail with the message variable, we can again define this message variable as msg dot as string. So which basically transfers everything we defined here uh, into a message variable as a string. And this message now the last step is being sent over here. So let's test it. Let's execute the script again. And let's check our inbox. So as you can see here, we got a new email, a new email from Python. So the subject is being filled. And also if you check the settings you can see the from variable is, is, is filled as we expected the to variable we got a subject so basically that's it for today and hope to see you soon